Hello guys and gals, and welcome to another episode of Unique Items. I'm working through all the belts today, and uh, and today we're going to be taking a look at Thunder God's Vigor War Belt. Now this one in particular has some very nice effects, and I think a lot of people who get their hands on Thunder God's Vigor, even if you're not an Assassin AI Amazon who's rocking it for the plus to skills, they tend to really like the uh, effects on this belt. And uh, we'll go over them together and we'll talk about them. Uh, so right off the bat, you can see it has 138 defense, and it actually goes a little bit higher than that, up to 159. Not a huge variance there, but uh, but it's interesting. Uh, we also obviously have max belt slots on this, and it is a strength requirement of 110. Uh, we have a level requirement of 47 on this, uh, which is relatively low, and uh, and, and it's just a fairly nice little uh, little belt. Uh, we have a 5% chance to cast level 7 Fist of the Heavens when struck. Now, Fist of the Heavens is a paladin skill, and it basically summons down lightning upon your enemies. And, uh, and it does about 240 to 290 lightning damage uh, when it hits the target. It will also shoot out holy bolts, uh, believe it or not. And those holy bolts will do um, basically about 75 holy bolt damage uh, to any nearby undead monster. Now, it only shoots out a bolt if there's an undead monster nearby. Let's keep that in mind. Um, now, it's not going to be an uh, amazing amount of damage or anything, but it's, uh, but it's interesting that it's there. Now, we also have 1 to 50 lightning damage, which is static. We have uh, plus 3 to lightning fury and plus 3 to lightning strike. Now, these are two very nice uh, end game, like sort of capstone skills. Uh, lightning fury is an absolutely amazing ability, which shoots out lightning bolts to multiple targets. Um, and depending on the level, does a pretty massive amount of damage. Uh, lightning Strike is essentially Chain Lightning in a bottle. Uh, when you attack somebody with it, it shoots out Chain Lightning and hits 20 or 21 or however many targets the skill allows. Now, when you have plus the skills from an item like this, it actually grants you the skill, despite the fact that you have might have absolutely nothing in those particular points. And uh, it allows you to use the ability as if you owned it. Um, and Lightning Fury is actually one of those abilities which is actually so ridiculously powerful that it doesn't really matter. Um, you can actually utilize it with no synergies. Uh, this is Hell Difficulty, by the way. It is only Players 1. But notice how I absolutely shredded Eldritch in Hell Difficulty with essentially no points, no synergies in Lightning Fury. Um, this is the absolute ridiculous power of this particular ability, is that you can really shred things. Now granted, these guys are lightning immune, but uh, let me go over here to Eldritch's little gang, and, uh, and you will see that just a massive amount of lightning damage can be done in a relatively short time span. Um, it also gives us the Lightning Strike ability, which chain lightnings back and forth between all targets. And uh, let me see if I can actually use that. Now, these guys, unfortunately, are immune to lightning, but uh, there we go. As you can see, this one goes back and forth between all targets and, uh, and does some nice lightning damage. Of course, these guys are immune to lightning, but that's okay. I just wanted to show you that this belt actually does give you the abilities, and there actually are some pretty nice uses for the fact that it gives you those abilities. As you can see, even with no points in Lightning Fury, I've always felt that Lightning Fury was just kind of a broken ability, and it especially kind of demonstrates this because the belt literally gives you Lightning Fury for free, and with no points in the synergies, you can still do relatively well with it, which is pretty hilarious. Uh, we also have uh, a bonus of defense to 160 to 200 percent. If you're looking for a perfect Thunder God's Vigor, you're going to look for 200 percent AD on that. Uh, we also have 20 to strength, 20 to vitality, and this is one of the reasons why a lot of people love this belt is because not only does it give you 20 strength and 20 vitality, um, it also gives you some really nice other stats. Like for instance. 10% bonus to your maximum lightning resistance. So when you have this belt on, you get a nice 10% bonus to your lightning resistance. You notice I go from 75% to 85%, which is really nice. Um, it also gives you a 20 lightning absorption. And what this means is that if somebody hits me for 100 lightning damage, you know, uh, the belt will take 20 of that 100 away. So it will go from 100 to 80. Um, and then once it goes down to 80, it will then take that 20 and it will heal me 
420. So I still have to take the 80 damage, so I have to actually have 81 HP to take the 80 damage. Uh, but then once I take the 80 damage, it then heals me for 20, so essentially makes that 100 damage be only 60, which is very, very nice. Uh, Lightning Absorb can come in super handy when you're fighting some pretty evil monsters, like, for instance, um, the uh, the Gloams in Worldstone Keep and things like that, as well as uh, Uber Mephisto actually hits surprisingly hard, and the Lightning Absorb can do very well to protect you from that, uh, that damage. Now, when you take the belt in as a whole, it really has a lot going on. It has really nice defense, it has really nice lightning resistance, uh, increased to cap. It has really nice lightning absorption. It has really nice plus to strength, which will help you put on equipment. It has really nice bonus to vitality, which will help increase your life. And, uh, and it also gives you a little bit of extra lightning damage uh, in the form of on hit and also when struck. So we've got, uh, we've got multiple things going on here. And then on top of that, if you're a Javazon, the plus three Lightning Fury and the plus three Lightning Strike can be very effective. And if you're not a Javazon, if you're just a character like me who has absolutely no points in the Javelin Tree, you can still utilize Lightning Fury by having this belt on, which is absolutely amazing. And let me give you one more example of this because I think it's, I just think it's funny. I mean, that was Eldritch. Uh, let's go into um, Crystalline Passage. Why not? And uh, let me whip out my Lightning Fury here. Here's some immune to cold monsters. And as you can see, even in uh, Hell with uh, in Players 1, I could do relatively well murderizing uh, quite a few monsters with Lightning Fury. Uh, with, with no synergies. No synergies at all. Uh, which honestly, in my book, makes this belt just an absolutely amazing belt. Just absolutely amazing. Now, of course, uh, my girl is using uh, Titan's Revenge, and the reason why she's using Titans is because she's trying to buff up her Valkyrie. Uh, this is actually a Valkazon. I actually have no points in the Javelin Tree, and I also have no points in the Bow and Crossbow Tree. Uh, but I still utilize both a bow and a spear. And the reason how I do this is I actually utilize items that have plus the skills on them. So I'm getting Guided Arrow from the uh, Mage Wrath Ward Bow, and I am getting the... Um, plus Lightning Fury from the Thunder God's Vigor. And this allows me to utilize both the spear and the bow to my benefit, while my freaking level, like, 48 Valkyrie, once I have her fully buffed up, uh, murderizes everything for me with her massive uh, physical damage. And I do believe that she's actually going to get a buff with Impale, because I'm pretty sure she uses Impale. So she's going to get a nice buff as well. Um, there's really not a lot more to say about Thunder God's Vigor. It just is... A very amazing belt. Um, it can be utilized by a large, vast number of people, not just an Amazon. And, uh, and and it really just comes down to the fact that it gives nice bonuses to stats. It gives a very nice bonus to lightning absorption and maximum lightning resistance, which can uh, make or break uh, specific builds. If you're, I mean, if you're in the Ubers and Uber Mephisto is absolutely handing you your butt, a little bit of extra max lightning resist and a little bit of lightning absorb, absorb can go a long way. Now, where would you find this belt? That is the question, right? So let's take a look on uh, Silo's pen and let's see where exactly we would go to try and farm this belt. Uh, so we've got uh, doo -doo 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 -doo, Thunder Gods of Vigor. So we're going to pretend we have about 150% magic find. Um, and we're going to do players one because I feel like that's the, uh, the best way to do this. And uh, we're going to go to bosses first uh, in all difficulty settings. And uh, we're going to ignore the quest kills. Quest kills are no good. So we've got Bale at 1,233, 1, 1, which is not bad, in Nightmare Difficulty. Um, and Daryl in Hell has a pretty good chance at 1 in 3,012. And uh, we also have Mephisto in Hell and uh, Diablo in Hell, Bale in Hell. A lot, of, uh, a lot of bosses here have a chance to drop this. Not bad. Let's take a look at the super uniques, though. So for super uniques, it looks like your best chance is the Cow King in Hell Difficulty. Um, which is kind of ironic, considering he's always lightning immune. <laughs> it's, that's very interesting. Uh, Neelothak in Nightmare has a really good chance, and so does Neelothak in Hell. And uh, the Cow King in Nightmare Difficulty has a decent chance at 1 in 13,600. Uh, Pindleskin in Nightmare Difficulty has a decent chance. That actually might be a good choice, uh, because quite honestly, Pindleskin is very easy to get to. And... Um, 
in Nightmare Difficulty, he's very easy to kill. Uh, so if you are, you know, struggling for magic find or equipment, uh, that could be a very easy kill for you. Uh, we also have Thresh Socket in Nightmare Difficulty. That's, uh, that's also in that same kind of a zone. Uh, Rocket Issue in Hell. That is a good choice uh, because Rocket Issue also has a very good chance to drop the Harlequin Quest Shaco, which both of which would do you very well. Uh, but it looks like to me there's a nice little combo here going on. Uh, we've got Doc Farron in Nightmare. We've got uh, Thresh Socket in Nightmare. We've got Pindle in Nightmare. These are all around the same area, and uh, and you could definitely spend some time killing each one of those um, in in sequence and uh, have a pretty good chance. Uh, we also have uh, Rock and Issue in Hell Difficulty and Treehead Woodfist in Hell Difficulty. Uh, both of those are relatively easy to get to and relatively easy to kill. Um, I believe also B Bone Ash. There he is, Bone Ash in Hell Difficulty. So he's also in the same kind of uh, outfit as Rock and Issue in Treehead Woodfist. And you also got Bishy Bosch there. Bishy Bosch is also in uh, in Hell Difficulty in like, Cold Plains. So you got Cold Plains, Stony Field, Dark Wood, and the Cathedral. That's a pretty good combo there, too. Uh, you could run Rock and Issue, Treehead Woodfish, Bishy Bosch, and Bone Ash uh, relatively quickly and have a pretty good chance of getting those items. So not bad. Um, I also want to upgrade this. So we're going to upgrade this, and uh, we are going to see what it goes to. Now, I don't necessarily think that this is going to be a, uh, a good upgrade in any way, shape, or form. Uh, let me say that. Uh, because it's going to go to the Colossus Girdle. And the Colossus Girdle is probably not going to be the best upgrade. Um, it's going to bring a really high strength requirement to the Thunder Gods. Uh, and, uh, and the whole purpose of wearing Thunder Gods a lot of the times is to get that strength bonus. And making the Thunder Gods the highest strength equipment that you've got in your inventory is probably not going to help you out very much. But, uh, but we're going to test it out anyway. So uh, to do this, we're going to need a Lem rune, and we're going to need a Ko rune. So here's our Ko, here's our Lem, and we're going to need a perfect diamond. Um, and we're going to throw this in here, and we're going to upgrade this and see what we go to. So we've got 159 defense, 110 strength, level 47, to 192 defense, uh, 185 strength. Ooh, that's massive. Uh, and level 74. Um, now, unless you've got the 185 strength to do this, I probably would say that's a really bad upgrade. Um, unfortunately, Colossus Girdle just has a lot of strength requirement. Um, now, if you were specifically a character that just had that much strength natively, you didn't really have to worry about it, uh, I could say go ahead and do it. Uh, I, I could see that. Just the, uh, the extra defense that you would get from that is certainly not terrible. Uh, it's just that the strength requirement goes up so much that it really makes it not really worth the uh, the effort for most characters. Hmm. Anyway, as always, I do appreciate you guys and gals watching my videos, and uh, keep watching.